Good evening, everyone. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to show you how I measure. I've had a lot of questions of like, how do you know um, what one unit is? And to tell you the truth, there's no unit of measurement inside um, Lumber Tycoon. So I don't know how long a foot is. I don't know how long a centimeter is. There's no way to tell that. So you have to use what you have around you. And what I have is a scale. I know that I can set this down to one by one. Hold on. Hold up. Recording. Yes, I like your outfit. Smiley face. Big greeny face. <laughs> okay, so what we can do is we can set this down to one by one. One by one. Sorry, I've got fans cutting wood for me because they knew that I had to make a video and I was trying to get lava done. So, uh... Which axe is it? There. Link. There we go. So let's just cut this down real quick. I know that it's one by one. So I'm going to take a log. Throw it in there real quick. And, well, that'll work. Why not? We can use lava wood too. Bring this over here. And bring this over here. That'll be perfect. So, I know for a fact that these are one in length and one in height. Sorry, not in length. Width and height is one by one. So, I'm going to build. And, ah, maybe I'm not going to build. Tonight, I'm just going to mess around and not get anything done. <laughs> okay, so there's one, two, three, and come here, uh, four, wow, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do, 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 B. Now I'm just going to chop these into one by ones. Well, as close as I can to one by one. So the first one that I, I make, right there. The second one. Oh, I really should have my fire axe for that, but it won't matter. Two. Three. Oops. I mean, Eureka! Four. Sorry, five. Oop, and I just missed it, so I'm going to use a little piece. There we go. There we go. Six. And the reason I'm alternating colors is so you can see the differences. Like, you can tell which where one starts and the other one ends. Sorry, I'm really ADHD tonight. I am kind of all over the place. I was trying to get wood done before... Uh, I had to start recording, and I just, I could not get it done. Had about 15 minutes, and usually I can make, you know, a good 20k in that time. Couldn't even get it chopped. There we go. All right. And done. So how do I know that that is one by one? If we take this and turn it to the side, like that, we can measure it exactly one long and one one high. So I know that this is a one by one unit. There we go. So to make something ten units long, oops, excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. Or however many units long you need it to be. <laughs> Do you see that? They forgot to set the scale. I can tell you that this piece of wood is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half units long. So that is seven and a half units long. Now I don't know how wide it is because it could be thicker or smaller or whatever. The reason this is important is because if I have two tiles 
say I've got one tile like this. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I did it again. Back out. There we go. Tiny tiles. So I've got one tile over here. Boop. And I got another tile over here. Boop. Right. And then I come over here and I take just a, a small. Come here. A small one by one unit. Versus a huge. Come here. Come here. Get off. There we go. Versus a huge unit of wood. All right. Now, these are going to turn out to be the same size. No matter what I put into them, they're always going to be the same because that's how big they are. So, one little unit of wood, boop, or one humongous unit of wood. I could have gotten, say, 20 of those out of that big piece of wood, but I just wasted it. So what you're going to do is you need to figure out how much one of these objects takes. So, for example, wait. Yes. Yes, you can use my trucks. Just don't take my things. That's all I ask. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's, let's get that out of here. Well, actually, let's use that. One by one. I'm gonna stick this in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now, for all you math people out there, nerds. Okay, I said it, nerds. I'm a nerd because I, I I really do. I like the numbers game on this thing. I love figuring out what my ROI is, my return on investment. How much time does it take for me to gather the wood, create the wood? turn in the wood versus how much money I'm going to get back for that wood. I love those numbers. I'm, I don't like the accounting part, but <laughs> anywho. All right, we're going to stick this right. Come here. Right about here. All right. And right. Oh, I like moved over a sec. That is about one by one unit. So I can use that as my unit of measurement. So, <laughs> I did it again. Scroll out. Let's say I wanted to make a post, just for example. Boom, like that. It says it's 0% complete. So I have to get it to 100%. I'll take my one unit, stick it over here. It's at 49%. So one unit equals 49% of this. Um, let's see, 49, 49 is about 98%. So it will take 2.1 units. All right, so what I'll do is I will grab right here. That is one and a half units long, right there. So about one and a half. One and a half plus one is two and a half. It should fill up. Boom. I used an exact measurement to create the object that I was wanting. So that's how you measure things and you don't waste wood. If you have a limited amount of wood, don't use humongous blocks just to create all of your things. Like uh, a lot of these, if I were gonna use them for building, I would definitely throw them back through the planer, uh, the planker, sawmill, sorry. And I would cut them down to one by one units. That way you can measure them out to exact lengths and build all of the things that you need. Um, if somebody wants to, you could probably go through each one of these objects and put how many units of wood you would need to create each object, create a table out of that, and some somebody, there would be a lot of people that would use it. So. Let's do it one more time, just for fun. I've got a little bit of time before I have to make the next video. Um, let's do something cool. Furniture. Mundane chair. I love it. Okay, so a mundane chair. It's at 0% right now. Hit B to get out of it. Let's go ahead and move our wood down so it's even with the end. We'll get one unit. Oh, it moved over again. So that's not exactly a unit, a little bit less than a unit, but we can still calculate. 
one unit equals 12. How many is it going to take for me to actually get to 100? Whoops. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm actually going to bust out calculator on this one. So 100. It's going to take me at least 8.333333 units. So I'm going to say 9 units. Now, I don't have 9 units left over there. So let's go make another one. Hmm. One by one? Yay! Now I've already got a one unit cut out over there. So... And, and by the way, you don't have to use this technique. You can just throw wood at it and it still works. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven. I've already got one over there, so about eight. And then nine would be right there. And I'm going to go half just to be on the safe side. So right here. And 95, done, chair. Yay! If you like this video, like and subscribe down below. Go check out my channel. I've got a lot more things going on with uh, Roblox and just making all kinds of cool things. So, meet the owner. What? How did you get to... Okay, anyhow. So, uh, like and subscribe down below. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a good night.